Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Lakers, 12-time All-Star Real Possibility as D'Angelo Russell Replacement The Los Angeles Lakers could pivot to 12-time NBA All-Star point guard Chris Paul if D'Angelo Russell opts out and signs elsewhere. Bleacher Report salary cap expert Eric Pincus floated that option for the Lakers if the Golden State Warriors decide to not fully guarantee Paul's $30 million salary by June 28. Chris Paul will probably be a free agent, Pincus said on Buha's block on May 20. There is a reasonable chance he gets traded or just cut by the Warriors. LeBron, James, and Paul obviously have a close relationship. There is a universe where the Lakers sign Chris Paul. I don't think it's outrageous. I would be remiss without mentioning Chris Paul as a real possibility. It makes a lot of sense to me. Is Chris coming for the minimum? I don't know. I don't want to say he comes cheap to the Lakers, but in the absence of a better offer I could see that. Other point guard options on the free agent market are veterans Kyle Lowry, Markel Fultz, Tyus Jones, and Monty Morris. Paul, 39, is coming off the worst season of his career, moving on to a bench role after starting in his first 18 seasons in the NBA. He averaged under 30 minutes for the first time. Paul made the most of his opportunity, producing 9.2 points, 6.8 assists, 3.9 rebounds and 1.2 steals in 26.4 minutes for the Warriors who were eliminated in the play-in tournament. It would be a full-circle moment for Paul if he joins the Lakers this offseason. The veteran guard almost joined the storied franchise in 2011 via trade. But then NBA Commissioner David Stern vetoed the trade when a few of the team owners protested. Paul was later traded to the Lakers' cross-down rival Los Angeles Clippers. If Russell leaves as a free agent, the Lakers would only have the mid-level exception to replace him. According to Kelly Eco of The Athletic, the Magic have interest in signing Russell if he enters free agency. Russell can do that by declining his player option worth $18.7 million for the 2024-25 season. Russell fits the Magic's need for a point guard who can also spread the floor for their dynamic tandem of all-star forward Paolo Banchero and Franz Wagner. The Magic 11.03 pointers per game ranked last this season. A volume three-point shooter, Russell could instantly boost the Magic's offense. Russell shot 41.1% from the three-point range and hit three threes per game this season for the Lakers. Russell averaged 18.0 points, 6.3 assists, and 3.1 rebounds. While Russell has the option to sign elsewhere, he expressed his desire to remain with the Lakers in a March 27 interview with Hoopshipe's Michael Scotto. I'd love to be here, in Los Angeles, and continue to give it a run and be where my feet are now, Russell said. Obviously, I'd been on the other side of it, and I'd been through the roller coaster of free agency and having to sit back and wait. I'm looking forward to not having to worry about that. I've been blessed enough to put myself in this position with my play. I'm definitely planning on taking advantage of that. When that time comes, I feel that everything will play out how it's supposed to play out. Analyst says hiring J.J. Redick would be a mistake by Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers have been one of the most discussed teams in the NBA over the past several seasons. Adding LeBron James was, and is, a continued topic of discussion for the organization, as he is viewed as one of the best players in NBA history. James was supposed to help take this team to the next level, and while they won the NBA Finals during the COVID bubble, the team hasn't had as much luck in subsequent seasons. After the team fell earlier than they hoped for in this year's playoffs, the Lakers fired their head coach, hoping that a change in this role could help them take the next step. There has been much traction surrounding J.J. Redick as a potential new head coach for this organization, but the response has been mixed. Some fans are excited about the prospect of Redick bringing his talents to this team, while others are less sure that he'll be a success. Rick Booker is a Redick naysayer, as he called out in a recent segment of Speak on FS1.
Booker called this potential hiring a mistake, adding, I'm praying they do this because it would be the most comical thing that we've ever seen. Some people have said that Reddick's potential is similar to Pat Riley's, a prediction that Booker clearly disagrees with. Regardless of the comparisons that are being made to Reddick's coaching style, the Lakers have a very serious decision to make. They need to choose a head coach that can get the most out of James' final years in the league, and it remains to be seen if Reddick would be able to do that for them. Paul Pierce prefers four-time All-Star, get Lakers coaching job over J.J. Reddick. The Los Angeles Lakers' head coaching search is heating up and J.J. Reddick appears to be the early frontrunner. Reddick played 15 seasons in the NBA but has never coached at the professional level. However, he's a respected basketball mind and LeBron James clearly likes him as the two are hosting a podcast together. While Reddick will likely be a coach at some point, former Boston Celtics star Paul Pierce believes there's another former player who makes more sense for the job. The Hall of Famer wants to see his former teammate Ray John Rondo get the head job in Los Angeles. If you're going to talk about J.J. Redick, I'd rather have Ray John Rondo, Pierce said on the May 21st episode of Undisputed. I know LeBron respects Ray John on that same level of basketball IQ, and I've heard him say that. Rondo was a four-time All-Star as a player and won two championships, including one with the Lakers in 2020. He knows the team well and has a good relationship with James and Anthony Davis. He hasn't shown much interest in coaching and this might be the right time for him to take that step, but he could be an interesting coaching candidate to watch in the future. As Pierce alluded to, James is high on Rondo's basketball IQ. Reddick actually asked James, who was a former teammate of his, that he could see having success as a coach. Ray John Rondo for sure, James said on the March 19th episode of the Mind the Game podcast. He can process, flip, do things on the go like that. It is very weird to me that he is not coaching at a high level. I think it is because he doesn't want to do it. It is a lot and who wants to deal with all these rich and entitled guys all the time. For his part, Rondo doesn't seem to be in a rush to join the coaching ranks. I'm just waiting on Braun to buy that team in Vegas, Rondo told Rachel Nichols of Showtime in a March 25th interview. Rondo is only 30 years old, so there's no reason to rush into coaching right now. He could also start out as an assistant if he doesn't feel like he's ready to be the man in charge. As of right now, Reddick seems to make more sense for the Lakers. He's been more involved in basketball lately and has interviewed for other coaching jobs in the past. Rondo hasn't even dipped his toes into the coaching pool yet. Neither have done enough to prove that they deserve head coaching jobs yet, but teams are looking to take big swings, hoping to find the next Steve Kerr. A recent example, Steve Nash, failed with the Durant-Hardenerving Brooklyn Nets, going 94-67 with two early playoff exits before parting ways in November 2022, and he's considered one of the smartest basketball players ever. There are a lot of risk in hiring former players with no formal coaching experience, but the Lakers don't have a ton of great options heading into 2024. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Rajon Rondo? Leave your opinion in the comments.